Hello guys, this is Frank, and in this Armor 3 video, I'll be showing you guys how to apply an image to an object in the Armor 3 editor. So to get started, I already have some objects placed, some static signs, objects, billboards, stuff like that. Even invisible objects you can apply textures to. And I'll be going all over all this in just a moment, but just to get started, some objects are easier to apply textures than others, so some of them we can just double click on it and you'll see a texture path. Sometimes even a material path that we can apply a material to. So a material is going to be a dot .rv or r yeah, RV mat, and a texture is going to be either a .jpeg, J .paa, whatever, or .jpg, all kinds of different texture formats that it can accept. So in this case, we have a custom file defined, and over here we have a over here we have a Arma three file being defined. So this is actually pulling whenever you see a three slash, and then the rest of this stuff with a .paa file, it's usually it referencing a image within the Arma three files. So which I'll go over how to pull out a random image like that later on in just a moment. So, but to get started, if you want to place down some objects to apply textures to, signs are the easiest things to find to pl uh, apply so uh, textures to, custom ones, default arm of textures, and so on and so forth. So click on objects, and then click on props category. And then we're going to search for sign, and it gives you a bunch of good examples of what you can attach an image to down here. I already have some attached. There's a bunch of other objects you can apply textures to, and technically you could apply textures to anything that has a hidden selections textures def defined in the config of that object. So it could be uniforms, vehicles, and even signs, and so on and so forth. So to get started, uh, let's go to our My Documents folder and find the custom images that we have. That way you can see the path and how I'm referencing these. My Documents, Arma 3, other profiles, your Arma 3 profile. And then either your missions folder or MP missions folder, wherever the fuck you saved your mission to. Mine was saved into the missions folder and I named it test.vr. And in there I have created a folder na named IMG. This is where I'm going to store my custom images to. You do not need to put them in a folder within the mission folder. Uh, it just helps organize the, you know, when you have a bunch of scripts and other shit with it, you know, it just helps you see that, okay, this is where my images are. And in there I have a .jpg file as well as a .paa file. They're both two different images, it's just, I'm just demonstrating that you could use di different file types to apply to an object. So to get started, we have this one already defined, and as you can see in the texture path, it's img backslash load.paa. That's because this is referencing the, if it's not referencing the Arma 3 directory, then it's just going to automatically assume that it's from the, um, uh, the mission directory. Hopefully that makes sense. So since we have an image, it's not saying A3 slash whatever, whatever, whatever. It's saying something else. I have no idea what would happen if you put an A3 folder in your mission directory, but I'm not going to figure it out. So in this case, we have an image slash load.paa because that's exactly where my image is. And then there you go. Displays the image. Same thing over here. And, and as a demonstration, I'm going to cut this image here, the armory.jpg and put that in the directory of the mission and now the texture is just armory.jpg so that's the name of the, the image what where the hell did i just put that might have to load the mission i moved the because i moved it there you go now it's updated and we can see the image on the sign and additionally, we can also use script commands to apply a texture to a object. So let's try it with this one. We'll name this sign one. And we'll start the mission. So what I'm going to do is press escape. Sign one. I'm going to use selection zero because that's usually the hidden selection for the image. And there we go. You want to change it to the other one? I have it located at image backslash load.paa. Oh, whoops. PAA. There we go. And there you go. Now you can see that it's on that sign. Pretty straightforward. This sign right here actually has two hidden selections. So let's do, since I'm looking at it, I'm just going to do cursor object. Selection one, and then selection. So the second selection is actually going to be armory.apg. Hopefully you guys are tracking on what I'm doing right here. So this is selection 1, and this is selection 0. 
that's how I just applied the texture to, to this billboard is multiple signs on it. I just know the how many selections are on it that you could apply to. Some of them you kind of have to look into and troubleshoot to figure it out, but you could, like again, you could apply textures to, to uniforms, vehicle skins, stuff like that, and it all works. Sometimes it looks like shit though. There's all, and again, the if you see a material path, that's it trying to reference a RV mat or something like that. I think that's about it. Last thing I want to show is how to get you know, a, a, one way to get a texture from the Armor 3 files. So let's say, uh, let's say we're going to pull a texture from a, let's get a vehicle. An off road vehicle. I feel like that would be a common one. One of those pickup trucks. Wrong faction. Where the hell is it? Off road. Off road. There we go. Get the driver. All right. And another off road here. I'm going to show you how to reskin these objects real quick. And this is just another way. And I'll actually show you one more after this, real quick. I'm trying to keep this video short. So what I'm going to do is do cursor out. Since I'm looking at this, I'm, this is one way to get the uh, texture information. So get object, object textures. Yes, cursor object. I think it's going to be select zero. Yes, select zero. So what I did is I looked at the truck that I want to get the texture from. Place in the editor, and there we go. I like this red truck, so I want to make this blue truck red also. So I got the texture from it. And now I'm going to apply it to this. So cursor object, set object, texture, mobile, in case you want to make it multiplayer compatible. Pop it in here. Boom. There you go. So hopefully that was pretty straightforward. What I did is I looked at this. Select this. Here we go. Again, I locally executed this. I looked at the vehicle. Put get object textures, cursor objects, hashtag zero. Hash, the hashtag sign now functions as selecting an element from an array, and it's actually faster than typing the word select and executing it that way, since it's a math function. So anyway, I click local, and this is actually gonna pull the texture. I just highlight it, press control C. I looked at this vehicle, and then I put in this code, cursor object, set object texture global, and then in the array, I selected this is the zero selection. This is the first selection. It's the hull of the vehicle. It's usually what it is. Zero is always going to be the hull. And then you, I just, for this parameter, I put pasted the texture path. Keep in mind that when you're using the scripted method, you do need quotes surrounding the entire texture path. Whereas when you're doing it in, within the editor, you usually don't need to do that. There you go. One last way of doing it. It's going to be the last one. This is a basic way of finding a texture. So if you right click a object, in this case I'll right click the vehicle, and then there's an option find in config viewer. Click on that. Scroll down, you can find JPEGs, you can find PAs. So the JPEG is usually going to be the editor preview, so like when you're highlighting the object in the editor on the side here, and it shows you that little preview. This is These are editor previews, JPG files that it's displaying. But instead, we're not going to do that. We're going to look for a hidden selection. Damn it. Find in config viewer, scroll down. We're gonna look for press H just to find it faster. Hidden selections textures. And this usually gives you a list of different hidden selections that you could use to on the vehicle and stuff like that. Sometimes they're hidden, like actually hidden. Um, kind of a pain in the ass to find some of them, some of them. You need a PBO manager tool to actually open up the PBO. You need to find out which PBO it is that you gotta open up in the add-ons folder of your Armor 3 directory and that has all the Armor 3 files and you have to manually look through and find out where the images are and then decipher what the fuck the actual path is that you type in. That's a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. I, uh, sometimes it's harder to find in the config viewer, but anyway, my point is that I could just click in here and then let's say I do this. I don't even know what this is. Picture, copy, control C is to copy it. I selected it. Control C, it's a PAA file. And Instead of testing the mission, I'm just going to apply, apply it to this and see what happens. Again, make sure you get rid of the quotes. You don't even need the first slash, I don't think. There we go. Oh, I guess that's what picture is. <laughs> well, there you go. 
that's just some ways of pulling an image from the editor. You, just, you can find other types of images and stuff like that. I don't want to go over the whole fucking shebang of all the objects and all the textures you could possibly find for this object. But, again, find a config viewer and you can find all kinds of shit in here. So, I wish they would make the scrolling faster than this. This is fucking ridiculous. Anyway, obviously I could just click on this, but... I don't know, whatever. I like to complain. That's about it. Hopefully this video was helpful. I try to be as thorough and show you as many ways as I could with, you know, within a short time frame. But if there's anything else you need, any other questions you have or any issues you run into, just put in the comment section and I'll see if I can help you out, you know, explain how to fix it or what the fuck the issue is. Um, otherwise, hopefully, hopefully the video, video was helpful. If it was great, like it. If it wasn't, then fucking dislike it. Go fuck yourself. But, you know, subscribe, all that good shit. Franck out.